This is your life. Your purpose on this earth is not to please me, nor is it to fulfill your parents' unrealized dreams. You were not placed here to make concessions so that they could be proud, so they could brag about their seed, fulfill some unfulfilled childhood emotional needs. No disrespect, but let everyone be proud of their very own deeds. This is your life. I came to shine light into the dark, and like a dog against a hydrant, I am leaving my mark. We were not sent here to investigate someone else's idea of what we should be. The complacent life does not stimulate me. So forgive me if I feel no compassion for those poor souls who live to follow the fashion. Because if you want to live a life that's neither limited nor ration, then by God you must pursue your passion. They will tell you that it can't be done. As though you were delivered unto this world for your song to go and sung. Let the world scream that unattainable thing. But for you, there is no such thing as impossible dream. Pursue your passion. Steven Spielberg was kicked out of the University of Southern California Film School because his grades weren't good enough. Pursue your passion. Michael Jordan was benched on his basketball team in high school. Pursue your passion. Larry Bird had problems making his team in high school and was benched his entire freshman year of college. Now here is proof that greatness is born out of zero doubt. In 1962, Decca Records dismissed four young musicians, told them that groups with guitars were on their way out. They left without a contract but refused to walk in pins and needles. Months later, they released their first album and called themselves the Beatles. Pursue your passion. Colonel Sanders was 65 when he fried his first piece of chicken. Made millions after he told you it was finger licking. Pursue your passion. Lord Hill was booed at the Apollo. Pursue your passion. Luther Vandross would boot off the Apollo. Not once, not twice, but three times. You gotta keep coming back, ladies and gentlemen. Forget the limitations set by your fellow man because when you pursue your passion, provisions will be provided for your plans. Let others lead small lives but not you. Let others sit around and settle for the crumbs, but not you. Let others be volunteer victims, but not you. Let others use their race, their gender, their sexual orientation as a crutch, but not you. Let others be concerned about what the neighbors might think, say, or do, but this is not for you. This is about a lifestyle that uniquely fits. Life is God's gift to you. Style is what you make out of it. So whatever you're passionate about, the perfection of that craft can be learned. So with the obstacles of this world, be not concerned. Because when you set yourself on fire, the world will come watch you burn. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do now that you know that impossible is a word found in the dictionary of fools? What are you going to do with the rest of your life? What two things you want said about you when you die? Personally, I never listen to what the pessimists are telling me because I know that the richest place on the planet is a cemetery. There you'll find books that were never written, loved ones that were never forgiven, ideas that were smitten and dreams that were forbidden, soil that was never tilled, cathedrals that were never built, restaurants that were never opened, chefs who never knew that they were smoking, paintings that were neither drawn nor hung, songs neither composed nor sung, souls that left without doing what they really wanted to do. So don't you dare die with your greatness buried within you. So today, declare that you refuse to lose because you can either live your dreams or you can live your excuse. So even when I'm old and gray, I will still be command the stage. My words will still be smoking off the page. So understand, this ain't no phase because every day I learn a new lesson and my best poem is yet to be written. I'm not leaving to what I came to give has been given. I'll be 99 on the mic, still be ripping, still be spitting, still be giving, still be driven. So let my tombstone read, here lies Kirk and he died living. Pursue your passion.